Be prepared for travel problems in much of the east this afternoon as snow, ice, and rain fall across the region. Parts of Texas and Louisiana may even see strong thunderstorms later today. Good afternoon and welcome to Weather Center. I'm Jill Brown. We'll take you in for a look firsthand and we'll take you first to the northeast where your morning commute was disrupted perhaps by snow. This is Philadelphia. The snow was mostly light to moderate, but there were some bursts of heavier snow as well. Snow continues now, but later it will change to freezing rain and then just plain rain as temperatures rise through the day today. In Philadelphia, you're not the only place who will be affected by that kind of weather. In New York City, you could have the same. In Hartford, you may see that kind of progression. Snow to freezing rain to rain. Some places it'll go right back to snow then by tomorrow. So it gets a little bit tricky. A messy setup. And it's all in the timing. We'll just have to really watch it uh, through the day, through tonight and tomorrow. Check back with us occasionally. We'll let you know how things are progressing. But this is our setup. We have a stationary front here in place with Arctic air, cold, cold air to the north. And then in some places, just maybe a very shallow layer of Arctic air. That's when we get into trouble, when it's only right at the surface. You get warm air coming up over top of it. You've heard this probably a million times here on the Weather Channel. So when you get that warm air flowing over top of cold air at the surface, that it starts as rain, but it ends up as ice. And that's what we're most concerned about, really, through the day today. So through here this afternoon, places like Columbus, Ohio, uh, in Charleston, West Virginia, back over to Washington, Philadelphia, and then later this evening, New York City, and eventually up into Boston. If you're deep enough into the cold air, you'll stay snow the entire time, and snow is probably the better end of the bargain. And if you're south of the front, of course, it'll be rain. That's what we have on our mount here for Richmond, Virginia, and into Kentucky, although it was icy early in the day in Kentucky. Some roads were even closed because of ice, and you can see anything shaded in orange here indicates where freezing rain or sleet has been reported. We're getting a lot of reports of freezing rain out of West Virginia. Interstate 81, avoid it if you can. If you're going to have to be out today, the plows are out there, they're salting, they're scraping, but take it slow. Just leave yourself lots and lots of time and you'll arrive in one, sh in one piece and hey, if you're headed up to Snowshoe and you're, you're braving these icy roads, once you get there, there's more than a foot of new snow. So there is some good news to be had if you enjoy the snow. In the Poconos uh, this weekend, there should be some good skiing with the snow coming in. Here it is, it's spreading up into the Albany area. It wasn't too long ago here that we were talking heavy lake effect snow in places like Buffalo and it is back, so we have more snow coming your way. Not lake effect today, but on the tail end of the system, we'll be back to more lake effect snow. In Columbus, Ohio, things look pretty good actually here on Interstate 70, but it wasn't quite so nice early this morning when we had snow coming through the area. Look at this, plenty out here. You have had as much as five inches of snow reported between midnight and rush hour in Columbus, Ohio. Then the snow started changing over to freezing rain. Last hour, freezing rain was still reported. That will continue on and off through the day, and then you'll see snow again tonight. So again, pretty tricky out here. And you can see from the radar, it looks like nothing is going on, so any precipitation that we're getting is pretty light. It looks like it might be getting heavier, though, heavier stuff approaching from the south. We've had heavy snow reported about an hour ago in Wilmington and Delaware, down through Washington and into uh, southeastern Virginia. This is sort of the, the changeover point. All snow, though, Detroit, Saginaw, Milwaukee, Chicago. We see temperatures in the teens, so plenty cold for snow and ice to stick around. But temperatures will be rising through this evening. And again, once it gets up to 32 degrees, you'll be in good shape. But in the meantime, it's going to be slick and cold out here. Wind chills. It's cold as two degrees below zero in Albany, waiting for that snow to come in from the south. Five is the actual temperature in Green Bay, and obviously this is the heart of our cold, cold air. Temperatures are below zero. Wind chills are 30 or 40 degrees below zero. Yeah, makes you wish you'd headed south, right? Well, this is the Arctic air, but at least it's where it's coldest, it's not that snowy or icy. Farther south, where you get that kind of in-between phase, temperatures aren't quite as cold, but you end up with some freezing rain. It's awfully hard to get around town, and uh, you may have power outages. We may have a lot more accidents. If you want to stay off the roads through this evening, that's not a bad idea. Places like Indianapolis, Cincinnati, into Kentucky, roads ought to be improving quite a bit now because temperatures have warmed up. And if you're south of this front, for the most part, you're in good shape, but don't forget there are pockets of freezing rain that do continue in North Carolina. So precipitation slowly ending west to east here. It's snow in Iowa, 
and down to St. Louis it's snow. In the southeast, 32 Little Rock, Raleigh's 43, you're in fine shape.